Have you ever wondered why the lion known as the king of the jungle doesn't hunt alone? Let's think about it. Lions, these majestic creatures, have the power and strength to take down any prey, yet they often hunt in groups. Is it because they enjoy the company? Or is there a deeper, more survival-oriented reason behind this? This intriguing behavior of lions raises a myriad of questions. To understand this, we need to delve deep into the world of lions and their intricate hunting strategies. Lions are unique among big cats because they live in a group, or a pride. This social structure is a marvel in the animal kingdom and it's key to their survival strategy, especially when it comes to hunting. In every lion pride, there are clearly defined roles. Male lions with their iconic manes are the protectors. They stand guard over the territory, keep intruders at bay, and ensure the safety of the cubs. But when it comes to hunting, the females or lionesses take the lead. Agile and stealthy, they work together in a well-coordinated rhythm, each member knowing her part. They surround their prey, cutting off escape routes, and then one lioness will make the final charge. This division of labor allows the pride to successfully hunt a wide range of animals, from small antelopes to large elephants. The males with their larger size and strength often join in when the prey is particularly large or dangerous, but largely they rely on the lioness's hunting prowess for their sustenance. The pride's unity is their strength, it allows them to hunt more efficiently, protect their young, and defend their territory. In the harsh savanna, where survival is a daily battle, the lion pride stands as a testament to the power of teamwork and cooperation. So it's clear that the pride structure plays a crucial role in the lion's hunting habits. But how exactly does a hunt unfold? Lions aren't the fastest or the most agile predators, but their hunting strategy is a masterclass in teamwork and cunning. Let's delve into this strategy, where each member of the pride plays a crucial role. The hunt begins long before the chase, with the lions patiently observing their potential prey, identifying the weakest or most vulnerable. This could be a young calf, an injured antelope, or an elderly buffalo, anyone that presents the easiest target. This process, known as stalking, can take hours and requires absolute silence and stealth. Once the target is identified, the lions move into position. The females, who are often the primary hunters, spread out, using the terrain and vegetation for cover. They work together to create a trap, a semi-circle around the prey, leaving one side open for the prey to run. This is where the males with their superior strength and size come in. They position themselves at the open end, ready to intercept the fleeing prey. Now, the most pulse-pounding part of the hunt begins. The chase. One or two females initiate the chase, driving the prey into the trap. Their goal isn't necessarily to catch the prey during the chase but to steer it towards the other members of the pride, lying in wait. As the terrified prey bolts towards the open end of the trap, the males spring into action. With a burst of speed they take down the prey, using their powerful jaws to deliver a fatal bite. It's a deadly dance that relies on coordination, precision, and teamwork. But the hunt doesn't end with the kill. The pride must defend their hard-earned meal from scavengers and other prides. Survival in the wild is a constant battle and every meal counts. As we can see, a successful hunt requires careful planning, coordination, and teamwork. But what happens when the hunt is over? Stay tuned as we continue to explore the predatory majesty of lions in the following scenes. After a successful hunt, the lion's social hierarchy becomes evident once again. The spoils of the hunt, the hard-earned meal, is not an open buffet where everyone dives in together. No, it's a carefully orchestrated dining ritual that mirrors the pride's social order. First to feast are the dominant males. Their strength and prowess in the hunt earn them the first dibs. They're the protectors, the defenders, the kings of the pride, and as such, they're entitled to the prime cuts. They sustain the most injuries during the hunt, so it's only fair they replenish their energy first. Next in line are the lionesses, the true hunters of the pride. Despite being the ones who usually initiate and execute the hunt, they wait patiently for the males to finish. Their role is crucial and their contribution is acknowledged, but the hierarchy dictates that they eat after the males. Following the lionesses are the young adults and teenagers. They're still learning, still growing, still honing their hunting skills. They're served a tough lesson in patience and respect for the hierarchy as they wait their turn. Lastly, the cubs. The youngest members of the pride are the last to eat, they feed on what's left, picking at the remnants of the kill. It may seem harsh, but it's a lesson in survival. 
In the wild there's no room for weakness or entitlement. This pecking order at mealtime while seemingly brutal, serves a purpose. It maintains order, prevents chaos, and ensures that the strongest members of the pride are well fed and ready to defend or hunt when the need arises. It's a system that's been in place for centuries and has served the lion prides well in their harsh and unforgiving environment, so, the sharing of the spoils further reinforces the social structure of the pride, but what about when the lions fail? Not every hunt ends in success, in fact, lions fail more often than they succeed. This might come as a surprise considering the majestic reputation these predators hold in the wild, but the reality is, even for the king of the jungle, failure is a common occurrence. Every failed hunt presents a series of challenges for the pride. The most immediate is, of course, hunger. Lions are large animals with substantial dietary needs. A single adult male can consume up to 15 pounds of meat in a single meal. When a hunt fails, it means another day of hunger, another day of rationing, another day where the pride strength wanes just a little bit more. But the impact of a failed hunt stretches far beyond the immediate physical discomfort. It also has significant consequences for the pride's social structure. The young and the old are particularly vulnerable. Cubs, still learning the ropes, depend heavily on successful hunts for their growth and development. On the other hand, older lions, past their prime, rely on the strength of the pride for their survival. Their weakness becomes more pronounced with each unsuccessful hunt, further endangering their place within the pride. A failed hunt also brings about a psychological challenge. Imagine the frustration, the disappointment that follows a failed attempt. It's a blow to their confidence, a dent in their majestic armor. Yet it's precisely these moments of failure that underscore the true strength of these magnificent creatures. Despite the hunger, the social strain, the psychological toll, lions never give up. They dust themselves off, learn from their mistakes, adapt their strategies and try again. Their resilience is truly awe-inspiring. It's the very essence of survival in the wild. The lion's ability to bounce back from failure to persist in the face of adversity is a profound lesson in resilience. It's a testament to their survival skills, their indomitable spirit, and their rightful place as the kings and queens of the African savanna. Despite the hardships, the lion's resilience and adaptability keep them going. Their hunting habits are a testament to their survival skills. So, what can we learn from the lion's hunting habits? To answer that, let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked on today, exploring the predatory majesty of lions on the hunt. Lions, often regarded as the kings of the jungle, are not just symbols of raw power and strength but are also intricate strategists and dedicated team players. Their hunting habits are a testament to their survival instincts and adaptability, offering us a glimpse into the complex dynamics of their pride. At the heart of their hunting strategy is cooperation. Each member of the pride plays a unique role, from the lead hunters who initiate the chase to the flankers who help corner the prey. This level of coordination and teamwork is not only crucial for their survival but also for maintaining the balance of their pride. Drawing a parallel to human behavior we find that like lions, we too thrive when we work together. Just as a lion pride relies on the collective effort of each member to be successful, humans too are inherently social creatures, and our greatest achievements often stem from our ability to collaborate and work as a team. Moreover, Lions teach us the value of patience and precision. They don't rush into the hunt, instead, they study their prey, understand their habits, and strike when the time is right. Similarly, in our lives, rushing into decisions without adequate preparation can lead to unsuccessful outcomes. But even the king of the jungle faces failure. Not every hunt is successful, yet lions don't give up. They learn from their mistakes, adapt their strategies and keep trying. This resilience is a lesson we can all take to heart. In the grand scheme of nature even the king of the jungle relies on teamwork and strategy. That's something we can all learn from. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more insights into the fascinating world of wildlife.